So that's what I'm doing. Um, keep it busy and then doing event appearances. Um, I'm so happy to be here with you guys. So if you have a question for me, wow, that was quick. <laughs> I have a question. Why do you talk so much? Um, yes. Uh, there are a uh, there are a lot of people saying that we're in the golden age of animation with all the material that's been coming out nowadays. I'm curious, uh, what is your opinion on that? And also, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back to you, my friend. Um, did you get that? That we're the, a lot of people are saying that we're in the golden age of anime, and how do I feel about that? You know, it's so funny you should say that, because I was sitting backstage during opening ceremonies yesterday, and I was watching uh, clips from different shows and meeting people that are voice actors from different shows, new shows that are coming out, and I, I remember when I started voice acting, and it was, it was, anime was just this little subculture, you know, this little niche thing that not a lot of people knew about, didn't have some kind of a huge fan following. It was just like a little, little group of people that just really loved it. And to see where it has gone and how it has grown, and I am so blessed, and I use that word on purpose. I am so blessed and so grateful to have been able to get in on it when it was so small. Nowadays, you know, it's grown so big and so many people are, are, are wanting to get into it. And I'm just lucky enough that I got into it when it was still very small. But I, I hope that it continues for a long time. Um, I hope it doesn't get, uh, I hope it doesn't get overblown. You know what I mean? There's a certain, you guys, can I just tell you that the anime industry and anime fans are the best, most wonderful, enthusiastic people I've ever met. I do a lot of conventions all over the world, and I'll do conventions with major, like, real celebrities, you know what I mean? Like, real stars, like William Shatner, or David Tennant, right? Or, or people, or Mark Hamill, you know what I mean? I'll do conventions with him, and I'll be, I'll be signing at a table here, and William Shatner is signing at a table five feet away from me. And no matter where I go, or who I'm signing with, celebrities, or whatever convention, I always see and feel so, so, so certain. The anime fans are so enthusiastic, and so supportive, and so kind. And you can see a difference between the anime fans and the rest of like sci-fi comic book fans. And I always tease the other celebrities about it. I'm like, yeah, you may be making 50 bucks an autograph, but I have the best fans ever. <laughs> the best. And uh, I'll have to tell you someday my Darth Vader story, but that's another story. Um, so I hope that it doesn't. I hope that it doesn't get too commercial, too big. You know what I mean? I hope. I hope we are able, no matter how large the anime world grows, I hope we're able to maintain that kind of family support and enthusiasm because it's what makes it special there are probably a lot of people in here who fell in love with anime before anime was cool you know what i mean a lot of people in here probably can tell stories about being made fun of or being teased or being bullied a little bit because they liked something that was maybe a little weird or maybe not the generic thing but now, as it's growing and more and more people are finding out that it's actually freaking awesome, you guys are like, man, I was anime when anime wasn't cool, you know what I mean? Like, I was in on this from the very beginning, I always knew how awesome it was. You guys are like, you know, out front, riding that, riding that cool wave. So I hope it doesn't, I hope as more and more people get involved with it, I hope we're able to maintain that, that family feeling. And uh, that would be my hope. That would be my greatest hope. And you know what? There are a lot of bullies out there, you guys. There are a lot of bullies. There are even bullies in the anime world. It's like, I don't even understand that. How does that even happen? Can I talk to the camera for a minute here? Fine. Do you have a zoom on that camera? <laughs> so let me get some light. Here, zoom in right here. Come on in. Stay a while, stay a while, right here. <laughs> okay, everybody look at the screen. I don't understand how people who have been bullied in their lives for liking something that was a bit off 
off the normal path, end up coming into this industry or this anime world, and then they bully other people. Don't they remember what it was like to be bullied? Can you even conceive that someone who has been bullied would ever bully somebody else? That's, that's really sad, isn't it? And here's what I want you guys to remember. Bullies, if you're able to have this kind of love in your heart, bullies should be pity. Because they think so little of themselves. They think they're so insignificant and so unimportant and so anonymous that they have to pull you down or make fun of you to try to make themselves feel better about themselves. So they should be pitied in a way. But you guys do me a favor. If you ever see people online bullying other people, stand up for what's right. There are a lot more of you good guys than there are of those bad guys. But the bad guys always tend to make more noise. Did you ever notice that? The, the, the bad people and the negative people always tend to make more noise than the millions of wonderful people. So here's what I want to encourage you guys to do. Be a voice for good. Be a voice for love and for light and for, and for kindness and support. Because God knows this world needs it bad. And especially in this anime world that, that we've built, all of us, we've built it. All of you, we've all built this beautiful thing. Don't let people come in here and pull it down, okay? All right, I'm done.